Hi, this is Sam Rutherford at Thomas Guide, and we're here at BMW at CES 2016, and we're here taking a look at the BMW iVision Future Interaction concept car. And uh, I'm going to step in the car, and uh, I'm here with uh, Marcus Berendt, who is the head of uh, BMW's Connected uh, Department, Connected User Experiences Department, and uh, he's going to give us a quick tour of uh, what this car has to offer. Hi. My name is Marcus Bevan. I welcome you at the CES 2016 at the BMW booth. And what we show you here is the BMW i Future Vision Interaction Vehicle. And what we do here is we want to combine the two bookends from autonomous driving, which everybody talks about nowadays, and of course, pure driving. As we um, still believe that there is driving ple pleasure in the ultimate driving machine. So, um, as you come in here, you see we are in an autonomous driving mode. The steering wheel is blue and it tells you we have taken over the ride. And uh, this is why we can chat like this and I can look at you and don't have to watch the road. Um, but obviously when I want to take over, I just switch the um, little lever here to auto drive. And then the steering wheel will come close to me and we see the blue lines are going to vanish. I see in the instrument panel I should take over. That was my request. It turns red and now I'm in pure driving mode. So this leads us to combining um, both our strengths, the, the driving enthusiast and of course the best use of your time while you're stuck in traffic on a freeway for example. Let me go back to, um, to auto mode very quick and you see the steering wheel will retract again. It will illuminate in blue that it's back um, and taking over the request. Now I draw your attention to, the, um, to our large 21 inch screen which actually gives you a good overview of the personalized connected BMW connected screen. You can choose which domains we call them you want to have there. And uh, as you see this here, um, this is a little demo, but let me go into simulation mode. I just push a button here and now we have an actual working simulation. My personal preference was that I see navigation, media, communication, smart mm -hmm. home. And now while I'm in auto mode, I can just wave my hand and steer basically through the menu. That's what we call our new air touch intervention. So you're and just hovering in, in, in midair and the car is sensing your gestures. Exactly, it's sensing my gestures. And you can see here in the steering wheel while I move, it blinks at me to say, yes, I'm ready. And just at the fingertip, if I'm in navigation, I just push and I go right into the navigation screen. So this is my confirmation, very fast and easy. And as we can see here, it all comes together with connection. So now it tells me my ETA is good today for going still to Fred's Coffee. And I can stop by Fred's Coffee before going to the office because the car knows where my next appointment is, um, what my ETA is, what the traffic is. It makes life very easy and convenient. What is so nice about this is it's so quick and easy. So the companion helps you to bring out the best recommendations. You just go in and you go and select your next song or you go into, into whatever you want, media. And again, there you have recommendations and you want to hear a news podcast, you just click on it and it's all going to be there. Right, and you're controlling that based uh, on a little uh, hidden control surface in the, the steering wheel, right? Exactly. Seamlessly integrated, as soon as I go out, it will vanish again and you never notice that there is a, um, a control. So, coming from here, we also did the same for an autonomous driving right in here. So there's a hidden control surface and if you look at the screen, we're able to control this and it's even touchless. So you can touch or you cannot touch as you like. Yep. Right? Um, also the passenger will have some sensors for his um, area where he can do this. Mm -hmm. um, but it will always recognize if you actually want to interact or if you're just gesturing by talking to somebody. Great. So this is our little story, but now let me tell you, you're going back to Pure Drive, you're back in the mountains, you want to have a joyride, you just let your car bring the steering wheel back to you, it asks you to take over, and now look at the screen again. The screen is focused. It's focused on what is important for you. So it collapsed all the tiles into the one that is most important to mm -hmm. you. And now you can concentrate on driving, and distraction has been minimized. And it's putting that closest to your, you know, your, your pillar of vision, so you don't have to you know, look way far away. You're getting the information you need right uh, right where you're looking. Exactly, and very convinced. Obviously, if I want to change the song, I can just move in, the tiles will come out. I can quickly, quickly choose my song, play a music, for example, whatever I want to do, right? Fantastic. So what you want to do, play music, or okay, here's your music. Wow, and that's super fast. Super fast, go in, pause, done. Muting is always fast, but I showed you the same thing with navigation or communication. 
I'm gonna share my ETA or something, I just go in. It suggests me to share with Salim, my admin, or the other people that will be in my meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and I can just select from them. Right? So let's take Salim and send it to him. All right. Fantastic. So with this uh, BMW iVision Future Interaction car, you know, you're taking BMW's ultimate driving machine and you're now adding uh, an ultimate connected experience. That is the aim. That is exactly what we wanted to show here and all our other stands at the booths actually come together to a full live. We call it the live in the, the day of Mr. I. Mm -hmm. The experience is from getting up till he goes back, back to bed at night, going to work, entertainment that he is assisted by the BMW Connected Open Platform. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you, Marcus, for uh, giving me a tour of the car. And uh, once again, this is Sam Rutherford from Tom's Guy signing off at CES 2016. Thank you, Sam. Thank, thank you. you.